Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Libra. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right. Oh, visit my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, and subscribe. That is where I channel the trees every day for you guys. So we have the Knave of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Tower, and the World. So you've got some sort of new beginning coming, Libra. Something. What is that? I feel like there's a new start coming and this is going to be a surprise to you. But I feel like it's a good thing. I don't feel like, like you have towers that come in, right? And rock your world because it needs to be destroyed in order to rebuild, right? So at first it's shocking and you can't understand it, but it's, ultimately a blessing that you don't always see to begin with it's like down the line you see the blessing then there's the towers that come in and it's like winning the lottery right where it changes your world in an instant but that's like instant gratification this is that type of tower because the knave of pentacles is here and this is talking about an opportunity. I'm hearing the word sterilization. I'm not sure what they're referring to, though. Sterilization. Oh, okay, that's, <laughs> that's a random message. Okay, so Libra, for some of you, surprise, if you're sterile or if, like if you're trying to get pregnant and for some reason you feel like you can't get pregnant, I feel like this is one of those one percent surprise you're pregnant that you just don't expect that's an example but they just gave me the word sterile so i'm feeling like that that 0.5 or that one percent chance of either getting somebody pregnant being pregnant that's specific that's specific bob so for some of you, something like that is going to happen. If you think you can't get pregnant or you think you can't get somebody else pregnant, Libra, surprise. That's not for everybody, but they gave me the word and is that right? Yes. Okay. So, Knave of Pentacles. Ooh, Six of Pentacles. You may be um, dating a couple of people in the future. There you are, Libra. If you're not now. Oh, if you are now and you think that you can't get somebody pregnant or that you can't get pregnant. Well, there's a conundrum. But I feel like this, I feel like whatever this tower is, though, that you're going to be happy about it. So it's a happy surprise. Even though it may be unexpected, I still feel like it's happy. Six 
Six of Swords. Some of you could be moving. because of an opportunity that's coming out of the blue by surprise. But again, this is a good thing. This is like changing your world here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands is clarifying the Seven of Wands. So you guys could be defensive regarding love relationships, right? some internal conflict going on this may be it, especially if you're dating a couple of people here it's like you don't want to get hurt so you may not want to commit right now for some of you that's what i'm getting i feel like you don't want to be this defensive though i feel like there's a desire to bring down these defenses the five of swords yeah And if you're like competitive, Libra, I feel like you're sick of being competitive. That's what I feel like. And that's what I'm getting from the five of swords. It's like, why am I trying to win? I don't know what you're trying to win. But I do feel it has to do with love, whether it's trying to win love or Clarify the Five of Swords. It's like, I just feel like you're aware of it and you're sick of it. Yeah, the fool. It's like you're leaving a part of you behind to this new version of you that's fresh and clean and happy. Happier. That's what I'm feeling. It's like you become aware. That could be part of the tower too you become aware right of parts of you that frankly you're just quite sick of it's it's like because they're giving me smoking right like i quit smoking back in 2012 right i vape now but i quit smoking in 2012 i think it was 2012 in 2012 and i just like quit i was sick of it right uh, and it's funny, years before that, you know, I tried this, I tried that to quit, nothing ever worked. The only thing that worked for me is like cold turkey. So I quit and then 2015 started, 2016 started like smoking um, a little bit. Now I'm vaping, but I'm feeling like it's, it's like quitting cold turkey. That's what I'm getting from this. And it's because of this, just, I'm sick of it. You just wake up one day and it's like, I'm just sick of it. And you give it up. Five of chalices. And it's, it's, it could be patterns of behavior that have to do with love, Libra, with the five of chalices here. There could be something surprising regarding love here. Yeah, Ace of Wands. And I feel like Two of Swords, that's your energy there, and Knight of Pentacles. So you've been on this path for a while, Libra. This path of realization. I feel like now you're connecting with your intuition and I do feel like love is coming when you take this leap of faith. But this leap is really on yourself. It's 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 beginning a new you, right? This discovery of a new you. That's happening to a lot of signs. Interesting. Well, you know what? Neptune is retrograde, and Neptune's the planet of illusion. And when it goes retrograde, it lifts the, the, the veil. 
also, that may be why this is happening a lot in the signs. The Knight of Swords here, clarifying the world. There's communication coming towards you. It may be somebody from the past with the Five of Chalices here. We have the Star card and the Eight of Pentacles. So you're going to be working on a love relationship that you're very passionate about. And it's like every step that you've taken has led you to here. Oh my gosh. They're giving me the... Um, the song by the police um every step you take every breath you take they're giving me that song i don't know if that song means anything to anybody who is this person for libra here nine of chalices so this is a wish come true this is what you've always dreamed of especially because you've got the star card here too, the two wish fulfillment cards. And it's a result of this healing because believe it or not, the letting go of part of uh, who you are, aspects of who you are that you're just sick of, they no longer served you anyway. They just didn't. How does this person feel about Libra? Oh, this is a person from the past. This is the Three of Swords. So there was heartbreak, possible third party. There you are with the Justice card. They do feel like you balance them out, though. It's like they feel like you're the yang to their yin. Temperance. They want to heal. So this is a relationship from the past here. Libra. Through this healing, there will be creation of a new love here. Ace of chalices here. So there's new love. There's new passion. Okay. There's healing. And not only that, there's a new you. There's a new you. All right. So what is your advice here? That's your advice. The hermit. Go within and shine a light upon the shadow aspects of the self which I feel like you're doing anyway. So let's see what the Oracle has to say for you. Okay, Libra, what does the Oracle have to say for my Libra? What's up for my Libras? What say you, Oracle? What say you, Oracle? Oh. You got a couple here. Shit, you got three. Recycle. Learn from the past and apply it to creating your vision of the future. Yep, that's what you're doing. Worry. Worry is attachment to a particular outcome and the fear that it will not come to pass. So look at your attachments to outcome here, Libra. Distractions. When you are trying to solve a problem, you will often be tested by distractions. So pay attention to that. It's like a universal test there, right? You paying attention, Libra? That's what the universe is saying. All right. I hope this resonated, Libra. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Libra, and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.